come on. I won't, Charles! Operator? 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 There's nothing. We've got to do something, Martin. I gotta have a drink. Nobody will be drinking in here for a long time. Scotch, please. Martin, what happened? Bigger and better bomb. Act of God, what difference does it make? The results the same. Harold, take it easy. What for? I don't know. I really don't know. Martin, we've got to do something. Maybe we can go back to New York. And see seven million bodies stinking up the streets? No, thanks. It isn't everywhere. Harold, there was nothing on the radio and nothing on the phone. Now, we should have heard something from somewhere. And you can bet that whatever happened, we didn't get the worst of it. Shall we stay here? You've got somewhere to go? Now listen, Martin, I don't like the idea of being in a world of dead bodies any more than you do. We can't stay here. In a couple of days, the stench alone would choke us. Hey, Morty. He's got a house on the tip of the island. Let's get going. I don't like it here. And chisel. Your wish is my command. Must we break in? Probably best if we just sleep tonight, talk about it tomorrow. Martin, there's a bedroom up the study you can use. Oh, Mrs. Gern. Thank you. Good night.
Testing, 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 Martin. Yes. Martin, meet me in the study as soon as you can. Martin, can you hear me? Yes. What hit you? The end of the world, Mr. Gern. Now listen, Martin. I think we ought to get together and agree that we should keep that kind of talk to a minimum. That isn't just talk. Look, Martin. The reason why I called you up here is because I think we ought to decide just exactly what we're going to do. Harold, there's probably enough canned food here to last years. And if we should run out, we can always 